In this video we're going to look at a slightly more advanced way of setting up a whole form. It's still fairly simply shaped, but we're starting to introduce some curvature uh, and some intersection shapes. So this is where we're going to start to introduce the concept of projecting and intersecting and then fitting curves to get these shapes nicely connecting. The project is going to be based on this vessel. Uh, this is a kind of restaurant bars that you can find in Bristol Docks. It's bars that was around for many years and then uh, at some point it was uh, turned into a, an actual venue. This is a plan of the vessel, at least the first example we'll be doing. Uh, I've decided to do a second example which doesn't use as much flat area, uh, it shows a little bit more of the projection tools and looks a little bit more like the image used in the picture. So this is the simplified version and subsequently we'll have a, a more complicated version. Overall it's about 40 meters long with a breadth of just under 9 meters. So in the first example we'll look at uh, a vessel with a, a lot of flat shape, flat of side, flat of bottom uh, and we'll use the intersection to pick up the deck shape and the ends of the vessel. So we'll start out by drawing the center line. We'll use the grid and this curve is also going to be a, a knuckled curve so we'll use a polyline to represent it. And then next we'll start drawing the kind of deck shape, the rounded ends. We're doing this on the baseline to make it a little bit easier and also to make sure that we don't uh, connect with the, the center line curve because we're going to ultimately throw this design, this curve here away. So we've assigned a straight section and some tangents to the end to get radiuses of the bound stern. We're going to be using a ruled surface on the side of the vessel so we're kind of getting a copy uh, by moving that curve up to the, the deck height and then pulling the curve beneath that inwards so we get a slight incline. So connecting the two curves together with a ruled surface. I didn't save it so I need to just make sure that I capture that. So at the end of the vessel we've got an inclined shape there and you need to get an intersection of that centerline shape, that centerline incline with the surface that we've put on the side. So we're now drawing some planes and then we're going to intersect the plane with the surface to get the shape that causes our bow there. And you can see that there represented as a polyline. Similarly for the stern. So this vessel also has some shear and we're going to take a, a shear shape represented by this curve and project it out to that side surface. So again, much like with the plane of the surface, selecting these two surfaces, we can get an intersection between the two and generate another polyline. So at this stage, there's quite a lot of geometry that we can turn off, we don't need any more. Uh, we'll also set up some, some tangent effects. In this case here, we'll start to fit the next topology curve to the polylines that we've generated through intersection. Make sure that each has the same number of points to be a consistent mathematical model. Set them as knuckles. So there's our flat of side, 
flat or bottom curve is again a knuckle line. Now we'll define the ends of the parallel middle body. And these will also have some tangent conditions to make sure that the parallel middle body is straight through those curves. And the final act is to create another X topology curve. This will create a, uh, to consist of three segments um, between each of the kind of tangent curves in the definition so far. So on completing that, we can just generate the surface. We can switch that to a linear surface, a linear blend, because we've got fairly simple surfaces. We'll notice that at the ends of the vessel, we haven't got complete good intersection. My design is perhaps too simplistic for the setup, where I have vertical curves in my center line when the side surface intersects with the center line. It isn't truly vertical, so we have to make some changes. Get our contours, look at our mirrored surface, and have a look at it in color. In this second example, we'll look at something that seems to be more realistic uh, to the image of the vet, of the barge um, on second second look. Uh, this has a much more rounded type of shape, um, which was surprising because you think normally barges are quite simple, simple flat flat shapes. But this one seems to be more uh, more uh, more rounded and perhaps uh, a little bit more money spent on the barge. So following a similar approach for this second design, again we'll start with the uh, center line using the grid to position our points and then turning it into a polyline. For the shape of the vessel along the sides, well again we'll define a ruled surface but this is going to have a slightly different shape. And Again I've got a connection here, something that I want to avoid because uh, these curves are going to be removed later so I don't want them staying in the curve network. So rather than having a kind of a flat of side, I'm just going to allow it to gently curve. We'll use exactly the same configuration to create the ruled surface. So copying that curve up to the side, up 5 meters, and then bringing the lower curve in by half a meter. And then we'll generate the ruled surfaces in between. Instead of using planes, we'll extrude a surface from the center line this time and get the intersection between the two because we need it all the way along the length. Pretty much the same approach. The only difference is, is that we're going to have to split this curve into different, different sections because the, the curve, the, the X topology curves that we're going to fit need to be done in separate segments. They're, they're not consistent curvature curves. So we'll now go through the process of fitting uh, an X topology curve to each of these.
have some kind of connecting points here. We'll set those curves up as knuckle lines. Again, this was the issue we had earlier where that inclined surface doesn't have a vertical stem at each end, so we're just manipulating the curves at the end so it sorts that out. So, not a perfectly linear development, but close enough. So there we go. We haven't necessarily spent any time on the deck on here, but we've got that rounded shape. Could have done it in exactly the same way with the deck, just done a, a center line curve and got an intersection along the length of the vessel. dive into the curvature although for a linear shaped vessel this isn't particularly informative but it may tell us if uh, areas are not so flat <laughs> 